What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today, today, we're back. We're waiting to see what Capcom has in store for us. Let me get my audio stuff going. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's been amazing. Feeling good. Everyone pray for Monster Hunter 6. I know, come on. Give us some information. There's plenty of games that share their game within six months. It's time. At least allow us to build up some hype. You know? Uh, give me that. Ready to die, he said, no way we're getting Monster Hunter 6 with Dragon Dogma? Mm, I don't know about that, bro. Mm, I don't know about that. I feel we'll still get some news. They release Dragon Dogma and Street Fighter. It'll be within six because Dragon Dawn was not close. Mega Man, I feel like this series is like gone missing. It was like my go to games growing up. Yeah, it is their best selling game. We'll see. You think we're gonna do it? I mean, yeah, they only showcase the game six months away. But we can be we can be hopeful. Two minutes until the show starts. <laughs> hopeful? No, no, no. We're hopeful. Something's gonna happen. To play through all those games, how much time that's gonna take? Exactly. I mean, I'm not that hopeful they're gonna release any information to us today, but a little bit of my body. I can't believe we played Rise for two years. That's wild. I got my last build video coming up too. This is for my fellow hunters. Massive expansion. Fantastic expansion. Rise was technically a development before World, but via a different team. See? Exactly. <laughs> Have hope. Believe. Believe. You see how they ended with Sunbreak and Monster Hunter? That's a sign right there. I want Omli Musha, Breath of Fire, and Monster Hunter 6. Look, look out. What's that? You see that? That Monster Hunter? There we go. Boom. Boom. Believe. All right, let's see. I'm a believer. <sighs> Blows away, Capcom. Blows away. Hello, everyone. Showcase. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase. Yo, welcome, welcome. Before we get started, 
We'd like to share that June 11th, 2023 marked Capcom's 40th anniversary. 40, they gotta go big. A big thanks to everyone for playing our games. It's thanks to our amazing fans that we can celebrate such a milestone. We look forward to creating many more games in the years to come. Yes. We hope that you'll continue to enjoy them. Yes. Keep delivering, Capcom. Now it's time to show off our latest titles at the Capcom Showcase. Stay tuned until the end so you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at this video. Okay. What is this? Looks like Omni Musha. What is this? All right, I'm digging the atmosphere. Yo, Blaze, welcome. Path of the Goddess? This new IP? The logo looks familiar. Yeah, what's up? Okay, you got the katana. Now let's see some gameplay. They shot yesterday? Oh, I missed it. Was it hype? Oh, this is interesting. Oh my. <laughs> it, it was interested. It, exactly. Okay, it's a mob slasher. Yeah, this is definitely something. Yeah, I thought the goddess. All right, that's one game. How long do you guys think this event's gonna be? It's looking for next gen consoles too. Traditional Japanese aesthetics come to life through the power of RE Engine. Experience a unique blend of strategy and action in this epic tale. A beautiful yet unsettling world of mystery awaits in Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Coming to Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Windows, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Looks like we officially left the last gen behind now. Okay. Mega Man X Dive Offline <clears throat> is coming to Steam, iOS, and Android. Mega Man Dive Offline. World premiere. The deep log, which holds collected memories of the Mega Man X series, is under attack. Dive into cyberspace using hunter programs to recover data before it's too late. Hmm. Mega Man's back. Play as Mega Man X and other characters from the Mega Man franchise, including characters that haven't been playable before. Level up your favorite characters and equipment to create a powerful hunter. Yeah, this is mobile, right? Power it looks up your mobile. Weapons and more to customize your character however you want. Mega Man X Dive Offline. No be dope, a Mega Man Legends, another one. Control and develop over one hundred. I thought the first one was good. Play as a variety of characters, including new heroes created for Mega Man X Dive. Complete stages and use element metals to recover memory pieces. Then analyze recovered memories to unlock characters. As long as they're new loot boxes. There are more than 900 stages to play. 
Challenging mechanics and enemies await on classic and new stages. You're bound to clash with familiar bosses from the past. Build the ultimate hunter and save the deep log from total destruction. Okay. Ah, the zero is always dope. Mega Man X Dive Offline launches in 2023. Okay. Moving on. Bigger titles. Now, here's the Capcom Spotlight Corner. A new era of fighting games is upon us. Street Fighter is good. Street Fighter 6 launched on June 2nd. It's already received an enthusiastic welcome from fighting game fans around the world. Yeah, it's real good. Street Fighter 6 includes World Tour, an expansive I haven't tried single it. player story mode. Fighting Ground, the core fighting game experience made even more accessible. And Battle Hub, a social space where players from around the world can compete and hang out. These are the game's three main modes. Cool. In addition, we're planning to release new fighters and content so you can enjoy the game for a long time to come. I'm cool, my can for now. Street Fighter 6 is out now for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. Don't miss it. We also have an announcement for Capcom Pro Tour 2023. This year's Capcom Pro Tour will feature Street Fighter 6, the newest entry in the series. Good. Players from around the world will compete in regional matches and battle to be this year's champion. <laughs> it it kind of lucky he is. The launch of Street Fighter 6, this year we have our largest prize pool ever. The total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour is over $2 million, with $1 million going to first place. Okay, I'm gonna Capcom start trading right now. Tour 2023 will feature three types of tournaments online premieres, offline premieres, and world warrior. The winners of each tournament will advance to the world finals at Capcom Cup 10. Stay tuned to see which player will crush the competition and take home this year's championship. Next, we have news about Street Fighter League Pro JP 2023. In Street Fighter League, the world's top players form teams of four and compete in official Capcom Team League matches. We have the largest number of teams ever. The opening match will be held cool. on July 7th and will be streamed live on the Capcom Fighters JP channel on YouTube <laughs> and Twitch. Yo, get him, Ray. Don't forget about the Street Fighter League World Championship 2023. The US and European leagues will determine the teams that will go on to compete in the World Championship. Get up close and personal with Resident Evil 4 on PlayStation 5. The game's main story will be playable in VR with PlayStation VR 2. I heard a PS5 VR 2 is actually pretty good. PlayStation VR 2, you'll be able to experience an even more immersive version of the game. I don't want that. Take aim as you fight to survive. RE4's cutting edge knife action is a core part of the game. And the PlayStation VR2 Sense Controller makes Okay, <laughs> we shouldn't ask shooting. that in midair now. Experience extreme survival horror firsthand. <sighs> they have not mentioned anything yet. Resident Evil 4 VR mode is a free DLC Welcome, Steve. exclusive to PlayStation VR2. We are all patiently waiting. The spotlight's over. Back to the main event. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. Pagmata. Oh, this is the one we saw on the, I think on the ad somewhere. Is this one hype? Hey, profile game for sure. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'll lean in. <laughs> I 
Ja. <laughs> no. Bruh. Lovely. Well, my first time seeing it, the game got delayed, so I can't be too invested. It's almost time for Ghost Trip. <laughs> Here's the latest on the game. <laughs> right, I thought you were hyped for that one. Not today. Hello, everyone. I'm Shu Takumi, the original creator of Ghost Trick. It's almost time for the game's release, and I can't wait for you to play it. But first, let's get started with this. <laughs> okay. Demo for Ghost Rick is available now for download. The story Nothing says that Holy Spirit has been hunted, hinted. In the course of solving his own murder, he will make <laughs> He does look like an NPC, yo. And all sorts of situations. <laughs> Think seen Why is he looking person. like that? Each person plays a vital role in his story. And together, their stories will lead him to one ultimate truth. So think of the demo as a doorway, inviting you into a great big mystery. It's been 30 years since we made the original game. 30 Just years? This one, I met many new people, and there were many miracles that occurred during its development. <laughs> I have no doubt. <laughs> why, why you got the parrot on there? Likes. To the team that lovingly folded this game, and all the fans have shown so Yo, Joe, I'm down. I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm down. I'm afraid that through this river, Ghost Trick will be available to so many more people around the world. <laughs> now, to wait for its release. Are you welcome, man. Uh, and one more thing. Yes. I practiced very, very hard for two weeks for this appearance. So, she will be me someday. It will make me very happy if it could speak in Japanese. Okay, okay. We hit the challenge. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I'm chilling, bro. Today's my birthday, so I'm relaxing, enjoying. Thank you, man. I'm about to take the videos next level, too. <laughs> I'll go FPC. Stop. From the creator of the Ace Attorney series, Shu Takumi, <laughs> this classic mystery game is being reborn. One night, a man named Sissel loses both his memory and his life. Hey, he has a face down like dead. that? He tries to solve the mystery of his own death. The only clue he has is a red-headed detective. A night of mystery begins anew. A rookie detective, brimming with a sense of justice. Bro, she that'd be nuts. And Sissel witnesses It'd be the birth, best birthday gift. Who was I? Why was I killed? Who killed me? And what does it mean that I was given these powers of the dead? Use the powers of the dead. No, I haven't seen the links items. yet. The controls are easy. Connect Sissel's glowing blue soul to the core of objects to possess them. Possess the tire. Possess the bowl. Possess the star ornament. You can then trick the objects you possess. Trick the guitar to play it. What will happen when you trick the car? Yeah, thank you so much, and thanks for coming out. Trick the door to open it. Possessing and tricking objects will let you access new areas. Sissel can go back four minutes. Yo, final, wait, Street Fighter that. 6, Street Fighter 6 is crossplay. So it has to be crossplay on this next one. Hidden in the past. Follow past events in real time. The limit, however, is four minutes. Help people avoid near-death predicaments and change their fates. Sissel will be a whole play. Thank you for the great. Thank you for the gift of sub. Appreciate that. Fates will change the story. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And that story must be linked in some way to the mystery of Sissel's death. Ghost trick launching on June 30th, 2023. Oh, soon. Demo version. The arcane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't miss the pre-order bonuses. 
See the official website for details. Bigger titles, come on. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. World premiere, here it is. I'm ready. The man. Uh huh? Nani? Objection! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Ace Attorney. <laughs> we all got baited hard. <laughs> I said, Mama, Mama's hunter looks different. One day. In Ace Attorney, players serve as mm, lawyers mm, for mm. the falsely accused. Battle for justice in the courtroom and uncover the truth. Now, uncover the, the truth. Fifth and sixth mainline Ace Attorney Collection? teams are being brought together to share the story of Apollo Justice and his allies in the dark age of the law. On Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows, and Steam. The colorful characters and <laughs> That's the style he's working HD for. Today. Have been relitigated in beautiful full HD. Available you can read minds with his hairstyle. Windows, Japanese, English, French, German, Korean. Yo, and big rings. Welcome up to the stream. Chinese. We've also added voice recordings. <laughs> I can't with this dude's scarf. We're sure there's no objection to everything included in this collection. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy is currently in development for release in early 2024. Please look forward to more information about this collection in the future. Okay, I'm ready. Next. Next, we have some Capcom news to share. This month marks Capcom's 40th anniversary. As part of the celebration, we've opened a digital theme park called Capcom Town. Take a stroll through the museum. To Proof of a hero. Artwork and other materials from various titles on display. You can even play a few of Capcom's beloved classics for free. Oh, you can. Head on over to the castle. I feel like they gotta put like classic old noise in Street Fighter 6 for Ryu and Ken. Participants will receive a special reward, so don't miss out. We can't wait for everyone to enjoy these attractions. <laughs> for yes, Rajag. Loki, he would fit into the game. The fun experiences we've prepared at Capcom Town. Capcom ID. A Capcom See? ID account is required to play Resident Evil RE Verse. Our new upcoming title, Exo Primal. And it Monster Hunter 6. Online features of Street Fighter 6. You can also use this account with other Capcom services and campaigns, such as a survey about today's Capcom showcase. We'll release more titles and services compatible with Capcom ID soon. Register now for Capcom ID. Now for the latest on Exo Primal ahead of next month's launch. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Did you guys pay the beta on this? The director of Exo Primal. This is a nerd context skin? Street Fighter 5? There was? But first, 
Let's check out this video. Premiere, P -p -p premiere. Hello? Thought I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sides. You did it was mid? Basically the IBS godfather. He was responsible for the entire Exosuit project. You know, anchor division, I assume. Exosuits were developed right here. I need exosuits. It's our only shot. We need access to the past. All my RD is just waiting to be picked up okay. in 2040. Intact and hot off the press. The access codes to override Leviathan. You can shut it down. The whole thing. I played for a little bit. Why does it feel like these mech tech suits just don't go well? What was the last good mech tech game? And you're not that you get back in Miles Hunter. Yeah, the game comes out next month. We'll find a way out of here. So we're still early in. I mean, that Warframe game did pretty well, didn't it? Other than that, I don't know any more games. The perfect exosuit development project. Even the Gundam game, I don't think any of them are really that good. Activating massacre module, summoning Neo T Rex swarm. This is all helping to make a better exosuit. Good hunting, Ace. Oh, yeah, Joe, those days are over. Rise is finished. I'm just saying, we need something to play for the next six months. Well, he's me. July 14th. Little over a month. Actual Dino Crisis would have been nice, bro. Dino Crisis was good. Survival Pass Season 1 Premium Tier. All the stuff you get. What did you think? That was a lot of new info. Before we dive in, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the players who participated in the open beta test back in March. We were extremely pleased to have so many participants. Plus, you gave us a lot of invaluable feedback. We can't thank you enough. You're welcome. While only portions of the Dino Survival content were made available for the open beta test, today we'll be introducing more content included in the full game. Let's take a look at what you can expect when Exo Primal launches on July 14th. Tell me. Let's start with the story. Ace, the game's protagonist, is transported to the year 2040 and forced to participate in a never-ending series of war games. The story unfolds as you play through Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Gathering intel to update the analysis map unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds and the AI entity known as Leviathan. At times, players will also engage in special boss battles as part of the main story. Dino Survival Mode will also change as the story progresses. It must be so hard to pitch a game. You unlock new missions with a variety of objectives, including 10 player co op, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. The game will also feature an assortment of unlockables and It's also hard to see, like, <clears throat> what game can we make that's really going to resonate Modules with the audience? Can be used to enhance exosuits and modify active skills. These modules can be obtained by fulfilling certain conditions while you play the game. 
You can also personalize your appearance with a variety of cosmetics, mm. such as exosuit skins, weapon skins, decals, and emotes. <laughs> I think so. I don't think I banned, but I think they got a live player mission that changes. Okay, maybe that like goes quick suspension. With squads from around the world for the fastest completion times, or by earning awards through achievements like most damage block with a tank suit in battle. There are many ways to enjoy the game, even after completing the main story. We took your feedback into consideration as well. What'd you do? In the full version of Exoprimal, <coughs> we plan to implement a mode where victory is determined by completing missions as quickly as possible, instead of direct combat with other players. We hope you look forward to that. Okay, so you can play by yourself, now, essentially. Let's go over all the new info we just saw in the video. Who was that new face at the beginning? Meet Dr. the doctor, Sides, the developer of the exosuits, and the head of Anchor Division, IBS's elite research group based on Bikitoa Island. Long as you see Tails, and Kieran, extends from the Anchor Division research facility into orbit will also be a playable map. Yeah, we don't need Master's Touch no more. Incredible battles will unfold while Exo Fighters and Dinosaurs clash atop this massive space elevator. Players will even encounter dangerous mutations of dinosaurs, known as Neosaurs, the most deadly among them being the Neo T Rex. You'll need to work together with your team to stand a chance at taking them down. Oh, Got no. it. Is that a swarm of Neo T Rexes? What are Leviathan's true? Who do mind if he's a rich to Monster Hunter game? Hmm. Wait, what's the deal with this new exosuit? While it may look similar to Deadeye, this exosuit is a variant called Deadeye Alpha Burst Fire. Unlike the default Deadeye, this variant comes equipped with a weapon that can burst fire or be used as a shotgun, allowing exo fighters to change their style of play. Exosuit variants, including Deadeye Alpha, will be added in a title update following the full version's release. But they, they made it, they did such a made good job of Crucial on the new one. We revealed Savage Gauntlet, a mode that lets you take on special five player missions that change weekly. In this mode, players can enjoy a change of pace from Dino Survival by competing against Exo Fighters from all over the world for the fastest completion time. Oh. More info about Exosuit variants and Savage Gauntlet <laughs> will be revealed at the Xbox Game Showcase. <laughs> be sure to tune in. Oh god. And last but not least, we're excited to announce that we'll be holding a second open beta test. Cool. This time we're including additional story related missions. 10 player co-op missions and other adjustments based on everyone's oh, soon. Check out the official website for dates and times. We hope you're all excited to try out okay. this new content. Thanks for exercise. Dragon Dog was next. Watch. Players will also receive a new get into the bigger games now. Don't miss out. We'll continue to make adjustments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Leading up to the game's launch on July 14th. Thank you again for all the feedback. <laughs> Yo, you guys are killing me today. Look forward to seeing you in the second open beta test. Of course. That's all we have for you today. Adios. See you in the war games. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, they gotta put Miles in. Miles was a gangster. Dragon Dama too. I told you. No. No. The last title they're showing off today. Dragon Dogma too. Hi everyone. My name is Hideaki Itsu. I'm actually excited for this one though. Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been over a year since we celebrated 10 years of Dragon's Dogma, and I can finally give you some more information about the new game. First, let's take a look at the trailer we revealed the other day. Okay, Wallace again. Who typed for this? You guys playing? Never heard of this game? Yeah, it's good. I played the first one back in the day. 
Multiplayer. Yeah, just think Elden Ring, but you can use other people's low summons. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Today, today. I'm <sighs> good. Second stream of the day. Unfortunately, this is the last game they're showing off. Bum, bum. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys are the goats. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think TG, TGS they will. So, what new information do you have? What did you think? It was great. Action RPG game Dragon's Dogma was released in 2012. Now, a decade later, I'm proud to share a look at the highly anticipated sequel, Dragon's Dogma 2. Today I want to talk about two characteristics that Dragon's Dogma 2 will inherit from its predecessor. Okay, keep going. First, Dragon's Dogma 2 will be a single player game, but with pawns at your side, it will feel like co-op. And second, gameplay will feature action role-playing mechanics set in an open world environment. In the okay. Dragon's Dogma series, you embark on your adventures with pawns, otherworldly beings controlled by AI. Alongside the player-controlled Arisen, you can embark on your journey with a main pawn that can be customized to your liking, as well as up to two additional support pawns you can borrow from other players to form a party of up to four characters. That's true. The pawns are controlled by the AI and are now capable of even more precise decisions than in the previous title. Helping you in the midst of battle. I mean, it's been 10 years. They can also help guide you to new locations. Technology's improved. Or give you a high five following a successful battle. It really feels like playing in a party with other players. Dragon's Dogma 2 is built with the RE engine, resulting in a dense world woven with high graphical fidelity. You'll enjoy a world roughly four times the size of the original Dragon's Dogma, with more to experience than ever before. The characters and monsters that populate the world are given life thanks to the power of AI. And players will feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant fantasy world. You can look forward to a variety of vocations to choose from. Your vocation will shape your Arisen's role throughout the adventure. Will you take on enemies with swords? Magic? It's all up to you. Definitely swords. We'll have much more to share in the future. But for now, I want to go over a few sections from the trailer that show what we've improved for Dragon's Dogma 2. Yes. What did you guys improve? This game is designed to enable players to take on situations in their own way. Okay. In addition to AI, advanced technology like immersive physics brings pawns, monsters, and NPCs to life. What would happen if you destroyed that bridge or if you pulled that monster's leg? What other exciting possibilities can you think of? Meet two characters pivotal to the story that also appear in the game's key art. Ulrika, a bow wielder with a deep connection to the Arisen, and Nadinia, a high priestess of the Bee Strength, which appear in the series for the first time. What destiny awaits? How will they affect your fate? The intricate relationships and situations you will encounter in the game are sure to keep you on your toes. The graphics look pretty good. You will come across familiar monsters from the previous game, as well as new monsters such as Medusa. You can look forward to new player vocations and many new experiences unique to Dragon's Dogma 2. Please stay tuned for more information. Thank you so much for tuning in. I think we're coming to the end. One more thing, let's go. This isn't a platform to announce the next Monster Hunter. They want like millions watching. Dragon's Dogma 2 will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. 
And now, a quick look at the Capcom 40th Anniversary Sale.